Okay, so after about three days of searching through all my junk, I finally found my heater core again. Yeah, it's when you uh, disassemble a project of this caliber, there's parts all over the place and you haven't touched the parts in three, four years. It's hard to find it sometimes. But anyways, that's back in. I'm running that still. But on the problem side, you have the hoses that come out from the, on the OEM setup. It comes out this way, but I'm trying to route it that way. So that means I have to modify these hoses. Uh, and the tricky part was to cut it to the length. Oh yeah, this this one you had to cut. I think it was like inch and a half off, but you have to do your own measuring. And the tricky part was to convert it to go that way, but at the same time still have this line functional. This is the line that uh, opens and closes the uh, hose to the heater core. So this has to be on or on or off. For most people, uh, I don't know. So this line has to actually work or else you're going to have heat all year round or no heat all year round. And this is the other line that goes back and I'm running it so I can go this way and come out this way around the engine. And it will have to come over the transmission somehow, kind of similar to this line. This is still the OEM line from the, uh, the B series. I'm pretty sure I'm going to ditch this line and um, get one that actually works pretty well maybe just a straight one that comes out here and 90s up to here or it's either that one down there I haven't really uh, looked at that yet and then next thing is the AC condenser uh, AC core I guess and here it is and we're gonna take this one apart since I'm not running AC no more uh, to save on some weight, we're just going to strip it out. So, we have to keep this black piece because it interfaces between the heater core and the fan. So, we have to keep this black piece, but we're going to get rid of this guy right in here. And there's the other side. Because this actually... Alright, so we just took this out. This probably weighs about, I would say about 3 pounds. We just took three pounds out of this uh, heater core, and now it weighs definitely about a pound. So, weight savings that you don't need to chuck it. Just reuse this. And there are some holes that you have to uh, aluminum tape up, like this one. That's got to be taped up. That? That's got to be taped up. And there's another hole somewhere. Oh yeah, this little hole down here needs to be taped up. That's a drain. Uh, it's a drain floor. It's like the drain line. Okay, I just wanted to show the uh, the foiled AC unit. Uh, foiled there and foiled there. Actually, I decided not to foil this last one right here. This is uh, it acts like a drip, just in case there's a uh, condensation. So actually, here it is. That one right there. Actually decided uh, not to foil up that one, but as you can see on the inside, I foiled the holes and I foiled that hole as well on the inside and outside. So that should be pretty good. Uh, you can get this at Lowe's. It's called foil tape, and uh, it's located in the uh, ducting, you know, like air ducts and stuff in that department. Okay, so this is how things are uh, starting to look. And we got, for those that don't know, that's your fan, that's the AC, that's the heater, okay? So, uh, you can't really go without one or the other. I know a lot of people, um, yeah, okay. Okay, so what I was saying is, I know, I know a lot of people have actually bought the EG or even like a, I think it's EG, it should have the same... Uh, AC core for the EGs that don't have AC uh, What you can do is you can buy this core and That is not even an AC core and it's just basically adapts from this point to this point and it'll be fine, but I Was thinking that that'll be like another 80 bucks maybe and why would you do that when you can just hollow it out and Just use it so hollow it out three dollars with a uh, aluminum tape or foil tape and that's it problem solved right so not really cutting corners but you're just using some uh, logic and simple judgment 
But anyways, so far I have the harness kind of temporarily run through. And this is the LS ECU, which is the original engine from this car. It's an LS, it's a GSR or Type R. Uh, I have the S2000 harness coming in right there. And I have this already wired up to the existing uh, harness that's sitting in the car. I'm pretty sure little features like uh, the fuel pump and things like that are going to require this computer to be on as well. So I might have to run two ECUs, one just for basic functionality and one to control the engine and overall performance of uh, the front end of the, the car. But this is how it is. I'm about to uh, uh, put in the, uh, the dash and maybe even carpet and we'll see what's, uh, what's going to come out of it and see how it's going to look. All right, so uh, while I was in here, I decided to do my RX pedals install. For those who didn't know what they are, they are basically the S2000 um, style. I guess they came up with these, and then when the S2000 came out. They gave put they give the S2000 these uh, pedals, but uh, for our years, it's actually somewhat special. But when I bought the kit, I think I bought this from uh, ICB Motorsports or JDMLand.com. Uh, they came with that pedal and that pedal fully assembled but for the brake pedal they just give you this so you're supposed to actually drill holes in your OEM brake pedal and then put it in I thought that was a little disappointing for myself I, I was expecting uh, three brand new pedals but yeah now these are actually brand new uh, pedal setups they give you brand new uh, clutch pedal gas pedal with the arm and everything like with this black arm and everything but for the brake they just give you this so I thought I, I felt a little ripped off but uh, I don't know I'm just kind of on borderline with that okay so this is how it all looks after the pedals are back in and now there's more trash and debris inside the car so uh, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys. I have the seat still in there, but it's wobbling. And this is the uh, pedal setup after it's all completed. And I do have RSX dead rest that I didn't put in yet, uh, which will be in you know right like in this area. But uh, that'll probably go in after the carpet's in. And I've already put in some of the dash uh, metal structures and things like that. I'm trying to help put everything back in and on the flip side over here the heater core is in the AC core is in and the fan core is in okay and if you close the door we have the shifter set up right on the floor which will be the, which we will install later and this is one of the uh, mechanics of the projects yep, kind of mechanic right here Yep. <laughs> He's worked on hundred thousand dollar cars before. Yeah. This is nothing. This is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> worked on Porsches and Mercedes and anything you can name. That's right. Lambos. Yep, that's right. Personally owned a Ferrari Enzo before. No, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> that's the type of people we're dealing with here. Yeah. And I'm an engineer, and the other guy, which you guys haven't seen yet, he's a uh, he's a body person, uh, does a lot of body stuff. So that's what he's going to be doing, or his contribution to this car. All right, guys, this is the uh, final outcome of what I've been uh, wanting to do for a little bit, just to kind of test everything out and see how uh, everything kind of lines up. So with the dash in. You can see, well, kind of see, it's dark now, so I have to kind of light it up, but there's the uh, shifter of choice right there. There's the dash, and let me light it up with a, a flashlight here so you can see the S2000 cluster. There it is, right there. S2000 cluster and steering wheel, uh, fog light. Switch is right there, illumination switch is on either side, steering wheel is in, the pedals are in. Alright, so here's the shop. I've just brought out my shifter cables, and those actually are the K-tuned shifter cables, which is going to go on to the K-tuned 
billet shifter, which somehow has to be routed through the firewall, or bulkhead for some people, and attach right here. Okay, so that's what we're gonna have to do. And what I'm thinking about doing is just cutting two holes just right in the firewall, right we're right over there, no, like right in that area, right there where the uh, ABS module was mounted. Oh, it's still mounted. After I have to go take it off. Okay, so let's zoom in for you guys so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Right there, the green connector right there, this flat area right here. That needs to be drilled out, cut out, whatever. And then uh, run the shifter cables right through that. And um, hopefully that works out. So here's the uh, shot from the other side. I just wanted to show one last glimpse of it. Use your imagination as to how it's going to turn out in the end. Alright guys.